Welcome back, guys. Aloha. And it's your girl, Ava Stormborn, back with another Horror October reaction. Today, we're going to do Aliens, brought to you by you guys, chose from you guys. So, let's get into this next horror film. I'm excited. Sigourney Weaver. Speaking of aliens... Like, do you guys see all that news about aliens going around? I wonder if, like, they're watching us 24-7 if they're out there. Hi, aliens! Oh, it's an old computer. It's a massive set, huh? It looks so massive, this set. Oh, they're in sleeping pods. Early bird gets the worm. I think we ought to discuss the bonus situation. Right. Gret right. and I, we think we ought to, we deserve food shares, right? right? I just realized she has a pussycat in space. What? Good morning, brother. That's so wild. The ship is so big. I honestly want to go to space too. I want to be a part of their crew. You got that? <laughs> well, yeah. All right, we're going in. Yeah, we're going in. So they're all on contract. Give me an AC pressure reading. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. I wonder how they filmed this back then. What, this was made in the 70s, late 70s? And floating. Drops any time now, we'll catch it. All right, initial damping's going off. Hold on, people. There's going to be a little bump. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I love bumps. Stop it. Get some help. Bumps in the road. I do love flying, though, in the air. I guess they hit the ground pretty hard. I know. Tell me to uh, glide off. The Look, we couldn't fix it out here anyway. We got to rewrite all these ducks, and uh, in order to do that, we've got to try dock. It sounds like a lot of engineering stuff. <laughs> Those lights, they look like Christmas lights. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mother says the sun's coming up in 20 minutes. How far away from the source of transmission? Uh, Northeast. Is Mother the ship? Who is Mother? <laughs> what was he doing? Hyping himself up? <laughs> Oh, their outfits remind me of Starfield. You know, Starfield, the video game, or the game that just came out. I can't see a goddamn thing. Hi, so you were saving? Neither can I, girl. That must be so creepy, walking out on another planet in the middle of the darkness. Why don't you just? What? What do you say, Rip? If you have any trouble, I'll be on the bridge. Oh, that's what was in the clause. If they come across, like, a place that has, like, life, they have to inspect. Please do. I do like the gray-blue tones that they're using for the outside, like, on the planet. That looks like a spaceship. What is it? Let's get in. Dude, that is humongous. I'm going back to the console. It's like a ring. Yeah, 
Dude, that thing is huge. That is humongous. That's what she said. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I like that shot. The shot of this guy with his suit. Dude, that is massive. Is this the whole set they built? Like, this is humongous. That is a really big, giant alien. Look at how big he is compared to them. Let's get the hell out of here. I, yeah, I second that girl. Is that his nose? It's like an elephant nose. I'm gonna go out after them. What's the point? A warning. The, the time it takes to get there, you'll they'll know if it's a warning or not, yeah? Yeah, to stay away. It's probably what the warning is. Well, I don't know, but it's like the goddamn tropics in here. Wow. This is completely enclosed and it's full of eggs or something. A layer of mist just Covering the eggs that reacts when broken. Oh! Hey. You alright? No, I'm okay. Alright. Okay, that looks very suspect. Like just falling in there. Oh! Oh my gosh. Dude, something's happening to it. Oh! Ew, it's like moving. That looks like raw chicken meat. Ah! Oh my gosh. That was kind of disgusting. It's just, ugh. It looked like raw meat. That guy just let his, he let them in. So Ripley's like the CDC, right? Oh my god. I need a mask. Where is my mask? It's tearing his skull. I know. It's not coming off without tearing his face off with it. Dude, that thing is like fighting to stay on his face. You take responsibility. Yes, yes, I'll take responsibility. Get him out of here. Where do you want to do this? That thing is massive, dude. Oh. What? Rob's gonna eat through the hole. It has like acid for blood. Damn. Next deck. Dude, it went all the way down. Say anything like that except uh, molecular acid. You must be using it for blood. Use your pen, What do we do now? They need to get Kane off the ship. Like Ripley said, quarantine. And they did not listen. The sooner we can go home, this place gives me the creeps. Dang, he's still in there, just laying there. And, uh, our guest? There's something wrong with this guy. He seems a little bit... Maybe he's got an outer layer of protein polysaccharides. Different. Said nothing. That's funny. What does it mean? Please don't do it. Thank you. I'm sorry. He's very, like, <laughs> he's kind of mean. And he's very... I was obeying a direct order, remember? Ash. When Dallas and Kane are off. I don't know, something strange about him. No, that I didn't forget. Oh, I see, you just broke it. I do take my responsibilities as seriously as you, you know. You do your job. And let me do mine. Yes. Well, she was doing her job and you guys disobeyed her. Or he did. <clears throat> I mean, he is really into science, it seems.
Something is not right. Oh, shoot. I would be so scared to go even go in that room if that creature was laying there. That is so scary. Kane? Yeah. Ah! Oh my gosh. That is so disgusting. Cover it with a damn thing, will you? Ew. Line. It's almost like a crab that has a tail. How come I gotta change my mind? All right, the I'm not gonna. I'm not trying to change your mind, Dallas. I just want you to listen. Will you listen to? Of course, the science guy wants to take it back home. I went out five times with another science officer. They replaced him two days before we left Thetis with Ash. Hmm? I don't trust him. I don't trust anybody. Girl, neither do I. He's fishy. Damn! Damn! Why don't you tell me so? Oh, well, because there's still some things left to do. Like what? Oh, we're blind on B and C decks. The, the reserve. Sorry, guys, if I seem like I have low energy, I'm a little bit under the weather. A little bit under the weather, darling. Dude, where are they going now? Back to the ship? Back to Mother? What I think we should do is just freeze him. I mean, he's got a disease. Why don't we stop it where it is? You can always get to the doctor when we get back home. Right. Whenever he says anything, you say right. That's honestly a risk, though, to carry someone who potentially could be infected or whatever. It's like a regular parrot. Yeah, shape up. <laughs> what are you so kind of... Onto a ship and then send them back home. Like, imagine if that happened to us in Quarantine, that's it. real this life. And it wipes out the entire human race. Like, that would be crazy. Alice, I think you should come and see Kane. Has his condition changed? Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's awake. Then I'm taking better, you know what I'm saying? The other one over there. You pound down the stuff like this. Uh -huh. I'd rather be eating something else, but uh, right now I'm thinking. Oh, what are they eating? I'm so curious about what their food is. What's the matter? The food ain't that bad, baby. <laughs> oh. Ew. Oh, God. Ew. <laughs> That is so disturbing. That's gross. That is so gross. It's like a snake, but it's not. You know what I mean? Like it's like a snake, but it's not a snake. And it has silver teeth. Here, just make damn sure nobody puts their hand on the end of it. Oh. Twelve module. We did. I don't understand it. Oh, he has like a little net thing to catch it. <laughs> They're so prepared. What the hell are you doing, man? It's the cat. <laughs> Why was the cat in there anyway? <laughs> oh, this cat. Just go with them. What is going on, cat? What the hell is that? That looks like a like a shell or something. Okay, this is a creepy room. Ew! It's so big. Oh!
I'm dead. The cat is like, that's not gonna be me. Dude, that thing got so big so quickly. Dude, this ship is so humongous and that thing could be anywhere. Like that alien could be anywhere on that ship. How come he can't get any answers? I don't understand. Like, why it's not responding? Why is mother not responding? <coughs> okay, this is creepy. Look at how dark it is. Dude, I feel so uncomfortable for him. <laughs> At least he has a flame torch. Wait, is that him or is that the alien? Uh, am I am I playing around? But I want to get the hell out of here. Dude, where is it? Oh shit! Dallas. Oh my gosh. Dallas. How come I don't hear anybody saying nothing? I'm this thinking. Place? Their group is getting smaller now. Any suggestions from you or mother? No, we're still collating. I've got access to mother now, and I'll get my own answers. Thank you. You guys should have quarantined, like. Ripley said, quarantine. That thing wouldn't have been on board. I am the one, the way your son don't need Oh my gosh. The nation for this, you know. The I they never cared about the crew. They just wanted whatever life form was out there. That is despicable, but that sounds like human nature, right? To do things like that. Ugh, that is so terrible. Ash, you open the door. What the hell is on his face? I knew I never liked this guy. He's terrible. Something is wrong with him. I just see naked girls behind her on the wall. Oh my gosh. Yeah, what is wrong with him? That looks like milk all over him. Squirting milk. Um I don't know what he may know how to kill it. Yeah, all those it look like invisible grapes in his body. Or anal beads. I don't know what they they look like. Something interesting. Ash, can you hear me? Ash, you terrible robot. I know you've been programmed, but it's still terrible. Bullshit. You still don't understand what you're dealing with, do you? Perfect organism. What do you mean, perfect? I can't lie to you about your chances, but you have my sympathies. We're gonna blow up the ship. That's honestly your best choice, to blow the ship up. Burn him. Turn Ash into Ash. We ain't out of here in 10 minutes. We won't need no rocket to fly through space. 
You guys can do this. There's three of you guys. You guys got this. I mean, that thing is pretty big, though. The alien is super huge. I'll get the shuttle ready. I'll get you back. You guys shouldn't That's separate. Oh, no. Come back up here. I'll shut the... Things never end well when people separate. How you doing? Fine. Come on, Pat. Jones? Jones has been MIA for like half this movie. Come here, boy. She needs to come back, right? She needs to come back. You guys need to hurry up. Get out of there. Oh my god. Girl. Oh! Oh, that thing is huge, girl. Oh! Dude, I think it's creepy as hell. You and the cat, you and Jones, you guys need to go. Override automatic detonation expires in T minus five minutes. Jones looks so cute in her little metal cat box. Girl, you need to hit that fail safe. Come on. Come on, Miss Ripley. You got this, girl. Girl, you need to go. Hurry up. You now have one minute. Abandon ship. The ship will open. Come on, girl, you need to leave. Five, four, three, two, one. She did it. You did it, girl. Wow. She's the last one standing. Her and her and Jones the cat. I would be so angry too with the company that hired us. Like they literally just want organisms from another planet and weaponize it. It's ugh. I, I, would, I would love a bed like that, like a chamber pod. Ah! Ah! It has like a an inside mouth. Like its mouth has a mouth, like a long mouth. And that's so crazy how they like it blends in with like all that stuff in the back. Like whoever's idea was to do that is, it's so phenomenal. Like that was crazy. Girl, you need a Xanax. Calm down, calm down. Oh gosh. Ah! Oh, shoot it, girl. Shoot it. Shoot it. Yes. Oh. What in the crap? Oh, my gosh. That is insane, dude. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo, signing off. The Nostromo is the ship. <laughs> mm. 
Wow. Wow, guys, this movie was phenomenal. Like, I don't know, back back then, like, they filmed this amazing piece. Like, this was a great horror for me, like, great sci-fi. I love the story. And I, I'm, like, a huge, like, lover of, like, female leads. And Sigourney Weaver did such an amazing job here. Like, as head lead, leading the cast. The design of the aliens. My God, they look so crazy, like, out of this world. I don't know. Makeup department, great job. Like, the cinematography is great. The directing is great. Like, it's just overall, like, such a great film. Like, I had so many jump scares. I was literally, like, sitting at the edge of my seat, like, jumping because there were so many jump scares in there. I didn't, I knew I didn't like that stupid android guy, Ash. Like, he was so, something was different about him. It was later to be found out that he was an android who was working for the company that hired them. Um... Or their contract. I guess they're contracted to that company. Uh, whatever the company's name is. But that's so crazy. Because they just wanted that organism to create weapons of war. And then... Uh, do you remember the message from Mother? Or Mother was typing the message to Ripley. And saying that they're all expendable. And Ash knew the entire time. And he was a part of that. That is so crazy and poor Dallas. We don't even get to see him. Like, we just see that he's, his body's not there. They couldn't even find his body. I don't know, is Dallas alive or something? Or like, I have no idea. I mean, the ship blew up. But I guess he's dead, right? Um, but he was the captain of the ship. Um, I did love Ripley's character, how she was like, <laughs> she's kind of reminding me of like the CDC, right? Um, keep all your infections and all that stuff out at bay. If you're infected, you don't come aboard the ship. And they obviously, you know, they overruled her. They were basing everything on emotion to bring him inside because he's their colleague. Kane was their colleague, of course. But, um, but Ripley's position, she's like, no, you guys need to quarantine for 24 hours. Like, this all could have been avoided. But I guess if it was, we wouldn't have a great film, right? Yeah, I love the story, the writing. Like, everything was amazing about it. It was really good. I just, I just have no words other than that. Like, I love the story. I love everything about it. Like, I can watch this, I feel like, again. Um, I do wonder if they have this remastered in, like, 4K with the updated graphics. That would be so cool to see. Um, and like a huge sound system. I would love to watch it again in like a huge theater or something. Um, I can see here that Ridley Scott is the director. Um, yeah, the rest of the cast, I don't really know. I do, oh, I have seen Tom Skerritt before. Um, Sigourney Weaver, obviously, I know her. Sigourney Weaver is iconic. Um, yeah, this film was phenomenal. Thanks, guys. Thank you guys so much for recommending this film for our October horror films. Um, thank you guys for the success of the last film, The Exorcist. That was amazing. Um, I just appreciate you guys, all of you guys. Um, guys, if you're new to this channel and you happen to come on and view my channel um, and watch this video, of course, uh, hit that like, hit that subscribe for more content from your girl. Um, and for all my regular subscribers who've been with me, um, I love you guys so much. I appreciate all of you. Um, and I can't wait to see what we do next. I'm kind of looking towards, I don't know, Misery or some other horror film um, for the month of October. But I created a poll and you guys let me know in the poll, um, like just like how I did a poll for Alien and other films. Um, you guys chose Alien. So yes, great pick guys. Um, I'll see you guys soon. I love you guys. Mwah.